I have good news for you. Your will is being written. I am what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted. Me one sin. The angel descended now to me. And the angel spoke to me. Are you re recording it? The angel told me. July 1. The first of July. At the August 1. And the first of August. That all children of God. That they should pray. Maybe it rains. Or it is sun. Metila. 12 meta pm 3 pm at yago mefa and 6 pm in the evening ago metila 12 pm ago meta 3 pm at yago mefa and 6 pm kini dia dry what will be the prayer point what is the purpose of this prayer some glories will be restored listen to me very well july 1 the first of july august 1 august 1 the children of god should pray maybe under the sun or in the rain July 1, the 1st of July, August 1, August 1. Pray inside the sun or on the inside the rain. The full prayer point is Father, the goodness that is released and all that has been taken away from me that you are restoring to me, I receive my own. Don't forget the goodness that is Sir, coming down on that particular day before God and man the angel told the, 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 the spirit of July the one. angels would descend on the 1st of July August one. on the 1st of August I said and they are coming with goodness but the, that of August it is coming with goodness and with anger but July 1 July 1 is goodness it is coming with goodness blood the goodness that you release today prayer. I receive my own all that has been taken away from me I receive back on that July 1 and August 1 I beg in the name of God. Don't fight or Don't get fight angry with anybody. anybody. That's one. Akoko. Number two. I beg in the name of God. Don't be angry with anybody. Those that are fast, you can fast and break. So, on this day, we're talking about. Don't get angry with Don't anybody. Don't angry with anybody. Don't get angry with anybody. Pray and they wash your white and put on the white you can be under the sun you can be under the rain one angel will be said that before God and God will be said that before God and God will be said that go and 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 go go and go and go and go and go and go people will receive the gift of the spirit if you are a man of God go and establish a revival let us try if it is July the one of God August 1 don't miss that deal you can cut and continue let's pray the last prayer as we go I'm sure you have all heard everything Prophet Mayo have said is going to be happening in our country between July 1st and August 1st. July 1st has already passed. Now we are looking at August 1st. See, it is important for us to take these prophecies um, serious. In as much as I mentioned it in the previous video, that in as much as we have fake men of God, it is important for us to understand that we also have the genuine man of god because the fake is an imitation of the original just know this 
So when you get prophecies like this, I am not saying that Prophet Meyawa is the one that this and that. I am not here to say anything like that. I am just letting you know that when you get prophecies like this, it is important that you don't just sleep on it. You don't just sit on it. You don't relax on it. First of all, what you are supposed to do is to share it on all social media platforms. Share with your friends and loved ones so they will be aware of what God is saying. Because one thing that is killing Nigeria also, one thing that is killing most people in Nigeria, most people in Africa, one thing that is making us stagnated, one thing that is limiting us, one thing that has been pulling us backward is ignorance. Lack of light, lack of knowledge. The Bible made us understand that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. So when pastors like this bring this type of word, try to enlighten us, try to inform us about the things that are about to come, about the things that are about to happen, you don't have to doubt. You don't have to doubt it. Yes, you may not like them. Yes, you may not believe in them. But doubt them and do the prayer. He said that something is coming between July 1st and August 1st. No problem. You don't like them. You don't believe them. But please, I urge you to pray for our country, Nigeria. I urge you to do that. I am begging you. Pray for our country, Nigeria. Nigeria is the only country we have. I keep saying this. Nobody knows what it is. It's about to happen between that July 1st and August 1st. July will soon come to an end. The clock is ticking. The clock is moving. So now is the time we still have time to pray and avert whatever it is the enemy is planning whatever the, the it is the devil is orchestrating that he wants to happen in our country nigeria let us pray let us intercede the bible said that if god be for us that who can be against us let us invite god into the party because if he be for us not even the devil can be against us he said, call unto me, all ye that carry heavy burdens, all ye that are weary. He said that I will give you rest. Are we going to fold our hands and sit down and, see, and allow the devil to play us like Tebutemis, to play us the way he wants? No. Are we going to just sit down and watch our country, Nigeria, fall apart like that? No. We must do something. Because, you know why? Because we are the light of the world. A city that is built upon a hill can never be hidden. We are the salt of the earth. We are supposed to be bringing light in this dark nation. We are supposed to be adding test in this testless nation. Because we are the light of, and the salt of the earth. The, the, and light shined in the darkness and darkness could not comprehend. So let us shine our light here now in Nigeria. Instead of pointing a kissing finger, the president is this, this is that, this is that. Let us stand up, sit up and say enough is enough. We can do it. Nigeria is our own. Nigeria is our nation. We cannot let the devil take it away from us. It is an error that will be here and things are going anyhow in the country. It is an error. It is an error. We are kings. So please, I urge all that we should pray for our country, Nigeria. Let us invite God. Tell him that whatever it is the enemy is planning between 1st July to August 1st, he should avert it in the name of Jesus. Don't sit on this. Don't just, don't just sleep on this. You may not like the prophet, you may not like what he has said, but please, take action. Take action. I am begging us, take action. Let us not just relax and say what will be, will be. Whatever will happen, let it happen. It is not like that. That is not how believers act. That is not it. Please, I am begging us that we should rise up and pray and intercede for our country, Nigeria. And I believe that as we do so, God is going to meet us at the point of our needs in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do have to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell. So whenever I post another video, 
you'll be notified if you're a returning subscriber i want to say thank you to you thank you for always stopping by to watch our video we love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel may god bless you may god reward you in the name of jesus please don't forget share the video also share that love for you. share with your friends and loved ones and do me a favor like the video right now and drop a comment by doing this you trigger the youtube algorithm to continue to recommend the video to more people god bless you as you do so i'll see you in the next one you are blessed i have good news for you what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.